The significant fact between this bridge is that currently in the UK there's no connection between Manchester Victoria Station and Piccadilly Station. So Network Rail and the, the railways thought of the need some, some 15 years ago to put a, an exact link into the actual stations to provide it a direct access. I'm the project manager for Severfield UK um, and we were awarded this job uh, approximately 18 months to two years ago. The bridge that we're making is the first of its kind, we believe in the world, of being an asymmetric arch network rail passenger bridge. The bridge span itself is approximately 105 metres and weighs just short of 2,200 tonnes. first operation was to take the weight up to 80% of the capacity of the cranes, uh, unbolt the actual structure from its temporary condition and then the next thing we had to do was lift it to get the trays off the floor. Um, the tray at the start had only 250 tonnes of ballast on. Uh, we then tracked forward about 15 to 20 metres. Safely located the, the tray on the 11350 back onto the floor and added a further 200 tonnes to the actual load. Then we picked up the tray again and moved forward into our position and then added a further 40 tonnes of ballast to the tray to get it into its final position. Um, as soon as we've finished with the north end of the bridge, which the 11350 is looking after, we'll then lower off at the other end where the, the 750 is and then disconnect both cranes. Um, and it's actually built against a historic monument grade one listed bridge at the side of it, which is the first ever passenger railway bridge built in the 1830s by George Stevenson, the pioneer of engineering of railways. So it's quite an iconic location as well.